Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to your Sunday afternoon um, bumper quiz. Um, another quiz on its way for you. Um, five rounds of um, the usual madness. So uh, we'll get that started in a moment. Just check how are you all? You're all doing well in this magnificent weekend weather we've had. Oh, takes you out, you don't. Takes you out, you. All that lying about at the back. Barbecue, just staying stuff like that. Had you, have you had some family or friends round that you consider the back garden way? That's good, that's good. Um, no letting them in the house today appear, eh, no use? No, okay, and they've brought their own cutlery and their own plates and all that way them for their barbecue. Aye, I'm sure they have, aye. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's kind of just, everybody's just kind of thought, oh, that's just that now, isn't it? It was a bit mental, I don't know if you've seen the wee video it was getting about on social media, the, the couple of boys <laughs> out their face, man, in the Glasgow, uh, sailing down the car on a, in a wee white blow-up, in a wee blow-up dinghy, um, totally mangled. I think they get stuck in a trolley behind Morrison's at, um, uh, where is it, Paul Shaw's? <laughs> it's a wee guy standing on top of the bridge and when Kilmarnock Road looking down. All right, yeah, oh man, pure mad mental, we're going this boat for battlefield, man. Um, man. Pure out of a tree, you should look for it, it's, it's funny. Uh, but that's, that's what happens. They've probably been doing that all the time during lockdown, uh, you know what I mean? That's our wee boat, yeah. Social distancing, getting up, no using public transport or anything. Man, we'll just get used this wee dinghy and we'll get about, scoot about the south side with us. But, eh... Uh, Obviously, been on the bucket and a few other wee MD2020, a bowl of Thunderbirds thrown in there, um, and all the other mad colourful drinks, and I mean colourful drinks, God almighty. Um, right, okay, so I'll also reveal more about the, um, the which is going to be a week today, uh, I've even forgot about it now, the quiz I thought. Um, I'll talk more about that at the end, but I'll be keeping you up to date on social media this week, folks, about the thing I want you so all to take part and as I say I'll reveal more about that later on. Right, let's get started with this. We have um as I say the usual um five rounds to get through. Uh, so let's just double check if that's what we're looking for. Get good at this now aren't I? It's getting a lot easier aren't I? I, I, I wanted to try out this week, uh, I broke myself a microphone, here it is. I keep looking around it, I didn't think that it's a, a, wee, a wee fan, but um, it's a microphone. Um, and yeah, it's, it works really well, but um, I've done a couple of tests with it, and it's, it seemed to be interfering with the actual stream itself. So the sound keeps cutting out, which isn't good when you're trying to do like music or other types around, so I've sacked it and I'll need to look into it this week, because I, I want to really kind of use that for next week. Right, um, so your first round this week, folks, is a connection round. Ah, another wee connection round. Um, you all know the score here, folks. Um, you have nine answers. They will all have a connection, and that is the question to number ten. What is that connection? Okie dokie. There we go. Cheers to you all. Lovely summer weather. I need a wee sip of this first because I'm dead dehydrated. Probably drink too much of it. Oh, magnificent. Magnificent. Right, here's question one of round one. Which American artist, part of the abstract, abstract expressionism movement, was married to fellow artist Lee Krasner, but sadly died at the age of 44? That wasn't Lee Krasner that died at the age of 44, it's the other one. The husband. Which American artist, part of the abstract expressionism, expression of the movement, was married to fellow artist Lee Krasner, but sadly died at the age of 44? Good thing about, as I keep saying with the connection round, when you get through it and there's two or three or one or two, depending, answers that you're missing, then when you get the connection, you can, maybe can give you a wee help man. Yeah. Okay. Remember, you can pause it, seeing all these things all the time. Which character did Paul Usher play 
in the soap Brookside. Which character did Paul Usher play in the soap, former soap opera, Brookside? Remember Brookie? It was really, it was good because it was quite controversial. Who was it? It was the guy. He wrote, I was going to say play school. <laughs> we could never wrote play school. Um, Grange Hill as well. No, Paul Abba. He did um, the other one at night. God, mate, there you go. See, my brain goes. Brain just absolutely goes. Anyway, I broke it. Was, it went a wee bit weird at the end, though, didn't it? Uh, bit mad. Most of plot. Question number three. From 1999 to 2002, which rally team did former world champion Colin McRae drive for? From 1992, 1999 to 2002, which rally team did former world champion Colin McRae drive for? So I take it some of these will be sitting outside then, they say. Quite right. So I might leave it to later on in the day because when it's cool, when the weather's come inside, but maybe some of these are so steaming that. I carry on trying to do it. Round the yard, manure. Bread round five. What's that round five? How long have you been doing that for? Ten minutes. All right. Right, question number four. The royalties for the Move song, Flowers in the Rain, were to be awarded to charities for which former Prime Minister's choice? Of which former Prime Minister's choice? After he successfully sued the band due to a promotional stunt that was adjudged to be of poor taste. I don't know, that's a bit of a long question, G, but anyway, the royalties for the move song Flowers in the Rain were to be awarded to charities of which former Prime Minister's choice after he successfully sued the band due to a promotional stunt which was adjudged to be of poor taste and led to the band actually losing out a fortune because of it. We might also is this song most, most known for, I'm not going to get upon it at this point, but um, I think it was the first ever song played on Radio 1. Was it? Something like that. Anyway, which former Prime Minister still to this day his charities get any time this song's played? He gets royalties for it. Or his charities do. Question number five. Which actor played the role of Dr. Richard Kimball in the 1993 movie version of The Fugitive? Which actor played the role of Dr. Richard Kimball in the 1993 movie version of The Fugitive. So I, think with that, I just realised when I was looking at this question that US Marshals was a spinner. Yes, the film US Marshals was a spinner for this film. There you go. There's 11,000 every day, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so that was question five. Remember, you can pause these. In question six, in 1970, which boxer became world lightweight champion when he defeated Panini, 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 Panini see the guy with the Panini land, Panamanian Ishmael Laguna in Puerto Rico. In 1970, which boxer became world lightweight champion when he defeated Panamanian Ishmael Laguna in Puerto Rico? As I said that one of the other weeks, I think I should practice on these. When I type them up, I should... Just make sure I've got it right. Now, like, that's what news readers and all that day, but I've always done I better watch. Nobody like Emily Needless and say something that might get, you know, being seen as biased, even though she was just telling the truth. Any news and news night watchers out there. Question number seven. Which 1971 movie starring Michael Caine is based on the novel Jack's Return Home? Which 1971 movie starring Michael Caine is based on the novel Jack's Return Home? Okay, question number eight, we're on to. Which band had a number one hit in the UK singles chart in the year with Don't Call Me Baby? Which band had a number one hit in the UK singles charts in two th in the, don't see, oh, 
in 2000 with Don't Call Me Baby. 20 year old. It's funny because for all that first decade in the millennium, you went, oh, that was back in the year 2005 or 2006. But now when you go into this, now that you say, you don't say 2020, really, you go 2020, don't you? What well, fucking years that's been? Um, or 2018 or 20. You, know, you never hear somebody saying 2017. I, I, I was, when did we get married? I thought I heard somebody saying, ah, it was 2017. We'll go back 2017. Well, maybe some folk day, I don't know. 2017. Yeah, folk saying that. 2017. Maybe. Just like. Get on with it, Gary. All right. Question 9. Which 1996 movie starring Jim Carrey is set in a fictional seaside town of Sea Haven Island? Which 1996 movie starring Jim Carrey is set in a fictional seaside town of Sea Haven Island? The word fictional there is key. Oh, it's sweet, sweet. Oh. Taps off. <laughs> As if Jeannie Godless says, taps off two metres apart. My belly's got to be two metres apart for the rest of my body. So. Right, question 10. What is the connection? What is the connection? Remember, you can look back on them if you want to be listen to any of them, rewind back and do that. Sorry, I keep sniffing. Um, I need to go and blow my nose on. Touch a sinus is playing up. Ah, too much information probably for these. Right. Okay, folks. If you want to, as per usual, you can send me your answers. Uh, it's up to you. Um, or you can wait to the end to do it. Um, and... For the moment, we'll have some music, as we do here. Let's have a bit of census. A s sunny Sunday. What about Finley Quay with Sunday Shade? <laughs> We're now on to round number two, which is a picture round, folks, um, and it is animals this week. We have a picture round on animals. Yes, just simply name the animal. That's all I'm looking for. Okay, so here is picture number one. Ah, look at that. What animal is that? Ah. And you get, don't get used to it because there's some ugly ones coming up. I think there is. Uh, some, or, or definitely, aye, there's some ugly ones coming up. So, I me, my friends against them, but that's a nice cute one. 
Look at the clothes though. You have to be very careful. Okay, that was the same, that was the same. There's number two. What is that? So you've got to be thankful for somebody like Richard Attenborough and these things in it. Introducing you to some of these animals, you know what I mean? Because if you went abroad and then you come across some of these animals, then maybe some of the more exotic ones that you see and you go, shit yourself, wouldn't you? But now you go, oh, sorry, I've seen that one Richard Attenborough, they're fine, they don't do anything, they're hermos. Still went down the back of your mind, don't it? Right, number three. Oh. I'm not looking for the Latin name or anything, if they're, if, if, uh, unless that's what they're commonly known as, but they're commonly known as these animals. As I say, sometimes you get. No, I don't think anybody that watches this quiz or does this quiz is that of. Yeah, for the Latin one down, the Latin name for that there. Parkerson, Parkerson, Parkwar. Number three. There's number four. Number four. He looks like he's been in the beer garden all day, didn't he? I'll tell you a shortcut line by the beach. It's quicker this way to the hotel. Look at my hair. Look at hell. You should have watched this morning. Okay. Number five. Mm. It's got to be Doug. Mm. I don't know about that. We don't want to come across one of these anyway, but. Looks all out of proportion, doesn't it? Right, number six. Oh, we're going underwater now, folks. Underwater. Don't just say a fish. I'm not going to accept that. I don't know if you can hear what somebody's singing at the back. Don't know what they're singing. That's it. Alcohol. Son, yeah, just the store kicks after it, man. <sighs> danger, danger. Woman pushed. Oh, just resting his, his feet on his knee there. He's just waiting for me, Jimmy. I've got to go for the usual one hour lockdown walk. And he's just looking along the road there to see where the right, fuck's keeping them. Me and you are in social bubble now, we can go for walks again. Can't sit in here for ages, man. That long that his heat's going. Maybe he's got a heavy heat, he needs to always rest against something. Oh, Jesus Christ, near shot myself there. I'm sure I seen a woman at the dance and that. I didn't get off you. <laughs> Freaky enough. I'll be having nightmares now. Too much eye leading and mascara on in my book. In the suit you had. Hi. Do you come to these trees often? No, I don't. I'm away now. Bye. Number nine. Ah. Oh. Looks tired. You know, I'm not kidding that. I'm thinking about. Looks like some... it's oh, a poor wee thing. In fact, it doesn't look well. 
Well, I mean, he sort of ate, but it just didn't look well. Kind of looks like maybe that bird is that in the foreground. Looks like looks like the back of somebody's head. I know it's no, but it kind of looks like some like, like a lot of folks' hair does, isn't it? It's a nice wee bird. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that, another bird. Perhaps my boy, he would say it's a jackdaw. I say it's every bird's a jackdaw, actually. When we go to walk, and he's got his binoculars with him. Yeah, I went through about a week. Maybe you know even a week of saying I like birds, so I want to look at I want to be a bird watcher that as many times we put up that tree. What is it? You tell me what's it? It's a jack daughter. It was a jack daughter. Right, okay. It's that one, it's a jack daughter. It's, it's not a jack daughter, look at the size of the thing. It's like a jack daughter. I don't it's a jack daughter. And that's not a jack daughter. Okay, remember you can go back and look at any of them again if you wish. But we'll have another wee break. And you can send us your answers if you wish to. For the moment, let's have some other say. I had a wee request for this um, from Anne. Anne Kerr, who's one of our regular wizards. She asked to Gary, could you play this song for me? She didn't say it that way, but she messaged me and said, go to play this wee song. And it was getting a regular play out, I think, on Radio 6 Music for a while. Um, Carlo features on it, and it's Riton. I think that's how you say Riton, Riton. I know what we all the names. But it's fake ID. Remember when you used to have fake ID? Get into the dance with the fake ID. Anyway, here it is. Oh, see? I need to get the thing back. Three, six, zero, three, nine. Tell the man not to waste your time. If the man broke the man here joke so you gotta get loose with the henny and the coke three two one girls wanna have fun if the man don't dance he's done tell him move on get the man gone now can i get a coke with my rum three six nine girls wanna drink wine tell the man not to waste your time if the man broke the man here joke so you gotta get loose with the henny and the coke three two one girls wanna have fun if the man don't dance he's done tell him move on get the man gone now can i get a coke with my rum Oh, we're 
a wee pretty tune there for you. A uh, big ID. Dun, dun. Yeah. That's a wee song there for Anne. Um, and that kind of took up with my, my wee slot that I usually go for a wee old, old school classic. So that's kind of fell into that wee brassic. Brassic? Brassic. Well, you watch brassic, bro. Uh, bracket. That has fallen into that. Right. Okay. Right, what is one next rounds, folks? It is, oh, we've well, got a wee general knowledge round. Just a nice wee general knowledge round. Don't do enough of these. Well, the connection round's kind of like general knowledge, but anyway, no connection here, folks. Just questions. Question number one. Which shipping magnet bought Olympic Airways from the Greek government in 1959 and then sold it off in 1974? Which shipping magnet bought Olympic Airways from the Greek government in 1959 and then sold it off in 1934? And an interesting fact, I think when he bought it, when they got the, the, the Greek government owned the airline, um, it had the five Olympic rings. But when this guy bought it, um, they told him he can't have the ring, he can't have the five rings, but he's trademark stuff. Because no up for negotiation, so he just added another ring. So six rounds on that Olympic Airways during that time. Don't know if that's still the case. Don't think it is. But anyway, it was when he was owner of it. So which ship, shipping magnet bought the Olympic Air bought Olympic Airways from the Greek government in 1959 and then sold it off? Question number two: Which satirical war novel published in 1961 and written by Joseph Heller was adapted into a 1970 movie starring Alan Arkin? Which satirical war novel, published in 1961 and written by Joseph Heller, was adapted into a 1970 movie starring Alan Arkin? A wee bit of books and movies there for you folks. Remember, we have the card game coming up later on as well. And plenty of you in with a chance for that. And this week it's two points or three points. It was one last week by John from McNerney. Probably didn't realise it, but you did win it. Question number three. Until 2018, what was the African nation of Eswatini previously known as? So it changed its name to Eswatini in 2018. What was it previously known as? Until 2008, what was the African nation of Eswatini previously known as? It's one of the ones that probably went under the radar. A lot of people didn't realise it changed its name. Went, all oh, right, did that change its name? All right. Well, no. Didn't know it. Not that. Until recently. Remember, that they had the Eswatini. When did that new nation come about? No, it's just one of the nation changed its name. Okay. Question number four. Which ship built in Dumbarton now sits in a dry dock in Greenwich, London for public display? I think it's been fire damaged a couple of times. Which ship built in Dumbarton now sits in a dry dock in Greenwich, London for public display? I was going to say something there about, I mean, I was going to go blur around here, territory there, but I don't think it would have been a good one, because it might have helped give you the answer. Probably a lot of you know the answer, but anyway, I'm just no, no good doing that. But. Okay, so that's question four. Here is question number five. Which former prominent US lawyer, an early advocate for victims of pr police brutality, has represented the likes of Sean Coombs, Michael Jackson, Snoop Dogg, and... Probably most famously, O.J. Simpson, which former prominent U.S. lawyer and early advocate for victims of police brutality, has re represented the likes of Sean Coombs, Michael Jackson, Snoop Dogg, and O.J. Simpson. If he was still alive, he would obviously, after what's happened over the past few days in America, regarding police brutality or murder, at the end of the day, he would have been very outspoken about that, and quite rightly so, I have to say. And then you go mad fucking Donald Trump, Trump treat, tweeting about it, tweeting, saying when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Quite a reassuring 
President of the Movement, isn't he? Sorry, he's got control of the situation. I just fucking shoot everybody. I know some people like that idea, but it's just mental. Anyway, we'll go down that road. Question six. In 1955, which British company first introduced the fully automatic kettle? Oh, in 1955, which British company first introduced the fully automatic Fully automatic kettle. That was a kettle I told you when it boiled. No bill this one. There's about a thingy for switching up. Now look, every year kettles do you know, electric kettles at us. We only got an electric kettle about three, four years ago. Before that we had um, still one that we put in there. You know, we used to have folk that would phone our roost. Like, See my mom and dad were coming down for Glasgow. They would phone us when they're leaving, leaving telling us to put the kettle on. That's how long it took to fucking boil. About half an hour. And so folk would be, I'm probably going to be chilling in Gary's a better phone ahead so that they know so that they'll go that kettle on. It's for arrive and then they say, do you want a cup of tea? You're like, I was only popping in for 10 minutes. It's just like things clutter in the work tops. Anyway, we've got an electric one now. Question seven. The Czech Republic is also known by what short form name? Czech Republic is also known by which short form name? That probably annoys me. People are going, what are you talking about, Karen? Well, this goes back to the Eswatini question. Some people didn't realise this country has actually changed its name in a way as well. Got a short for me. Rather than having to say the Czech Republic, it's now known as this. Huh? Some people still say Czech Republic, but huh? it's got a shorter name. It's like we all have nicknames and all that. I don't go into my, my nicknames, I know it's uh, terrible. terrible nickname. Right, question number eight. The, mind, the minor and major calyx can be found in which organ in, in the human body? The minor and major calyx can be found in which organ in the human body? Minor and major. Quite a musical thing. Calyx, I think you mean a resource as well. Racing back tomorrow, supposedly. Don't know if it's happening. No, anyway, we're all going to dump up there tomorrow. Racing back in Scotland, hopefully on the 22nd of June. At air, not that you can go. Maybe you could stand in the car park or go into the, the thingy restaurant at Tesco. But would they have that open then? They probably never know. We well, just go into the back car park and watch it. Lots of old guys go in there all the time with their carriers. Don't ask me now, I don't know. I just. One day I was driving by air and there was a race zone and I went, oh, I'm just going to here. <laughs> and there was these wee guys with a carry around putting their phone, their, their, their bed zone on the phone. They offered me a car, says I can't even try. Nice of them. Question nine. The restaurant chain Nando's was founded in which country? The restaurant chain Nando's was founded in which country? Aye, who was it? He got into a lot of grief for that this week, didn't he? Richie, Su Richie Sunak, the Chancellor, my man. Which a lot of people up until recently were like, he is kneeled on the next leader of the Tories. Um, but yeah, he delivered, he's all right, he's a Tory, but he delivers himself quite well in that. Um, but then all the stuff with Dominic Cummins and he came out and supported them and pulled the party line and whatever. And then he recently tweeted when uh shared a son post by the sun, the scum, sorry, the sun, which said all the great, he basically put it down as the news, the great news that he's all been waiting for. And people might have been going, oh, yeah, beauty, they might have found a, you know, a, a, a vaccine or something for the, oh, brilliant, or the, the, you know, furlough scheme's going to be extended. Quick turn it, no, Nando's is real, me. So a lot of folk are pissed off for that. Anyway, I'm looking for the country that's founded in. And question 10. 
Con- yeah, Seems good at the time. Stand up at one o'clock in the morning, make no questions. I go with that one. Aye. Conquistadors, there you go. Just don't think about a Gary Street in there. Conquistadors were explorers, knights from which two countries? Conquistadors were explorers and or explorers, knights, soldiers, were that sort of stuff. From which two countries? I need both of them for a, for that point. You know, I'm not giving you a point for each. I want both of them. If you get one of them, you're not getting half a point even. I'm being, I'm being that ruthless. Conquistadors were explorers, knights from which two countries. Okay, right. That is the end of round number three, folks. Uh, do the usual if you want to. Um, well, I'm just going to play a bit of music. Here's a bit of this is a great summer song. Anyway, love one question I say earlier on about the back. Sun brilliant lately. Massive attack. <laughs> Get it turned on loud, get the bass cranked up on that song. Throw it sort of bump, 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 bump. Scare the fucking neighbours, man. Uh, just, uh, it's a, that's the way it should be. Anyway, playing that, it's great. Love it. That's Lately by Massive Attack after sensational de- debut album. Debut? Um, debut album. Um, Blue Lines, uh, Massive Attack. Right. We are moving on to round number four, folks, and it's Name the Movie. Now, with this one, I've been working on this. Oh, and um, I tested it out. And again, audios. I hope it's all right, folks. One test that I did, it was cutting in the note, but I'm hoping it. I think I was, I'll blame that in the microphone. So that's why I'm not using that. Now. I need to look at that. Anyway, you're going to hear an audio clip. Of a movie, you simply tell me what movie it is. Okay, you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. I'm not allowing that. Um, but you'll hear it. Um, some of them are very well known. A couple in there that are a little less well known, but 
They're no like totally obscure movies. Um, they're all pretty. Some of them are really easy. Right, so here's your first one. Um, okay. Don't want to know anything about the actors or anything that's in it that you hear. Just simply name the movie. That's all I'm looking for. Right, let's hope that works. Let's hope that fucking works. Here we go. Here's your first one. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Oops. Okay, so that was um oh, God's sake, I've got that all over the place there, sorry folks. Right, so that was number one there. I'll go back to these as I say with the audio the the, the question disappears. Um but uh I go back to it so that if you want to rebound and go back to any of these, you can do so. Right, number two. That's the name of the movie. Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into our side, Chief. He was coming back. The bomb. men went to the water. The vessel went down in 12 minutes. Didn't see the first shock for about half an hour. 13 footer, you know. You know that when you're in the water, Chief, you tell by looking from the dorsal to the tail. What we didn't know was our bomb mission had been so secret. No distress signal had been sent. Could listen on to that for a wee while, um, but I'm going to be just of it. Just sure you stick. So that was number two. Um, there, as I say, a lot of the, what I'm playing is popular lines or um, like for the next one here, or passages from these movies. Right. So this is number three. From which movie is this from? You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Some poor quick one now. I hope you hear the old one. Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's gonna do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. Scary when he's like that, aren't you? Scary. Okay, so that was number three. Name Ruby. Right, we got on to one. Next couple are two personal favourites of mine's. Um, anyway. And I've got this lovely, two lovely speeches in each one. Um, so, excuse me if I start crying. But anyway. This is number four. We're going on to okay number four here. I shall die here. Every inch of me shall perish. Every inch, but one. An inch. It is small and it is fragile, and it is the only thing in the world worth having. We must never lose it or give it away. We must never let them take it from us. I hope that whoever you are, you escape this place. I hope that the world turns and that things get better. But what I hope most of all is that you understand what I mean when I tell you that even though I do not know you, and even though I may never meet you, laugh with you, cry with you, or kiss you, I love you. With all my heart, I love you. Valerie. 
think that's quite an appropriate speech for this time that we're in at the moment. Yeah, I, do. I do. What was the movie though? What was that movie? Okay, this is number five. Um, and again, another very good speech. Here we go. This band behind me will tell you that that trophy means more to me than out else in the old world. But they'd be wrong. Truth is, I thought it mattered. I thought that music mattered. But does it bollocks? Not compared to how people matter. Us winning this trophy won't mean bugger all to most people. But us refusing it, like what we're going to do now, well then it becomes news, doesn't it? You see what I mean? That way I'll not just be talking to myself, will I? Because over the last ten years, this bloody government has systematically destroyed an entire industry. Our industry. And not just our industry. Our communities. Our homes. Our lives. All in the name of progress. And for a few lousy bob. I'll tell you something else you might not know as well. A fortnight ago, this band's pit were closed. Another thousand men lost their jobs. And that's not all they lost. Most of them lost the will to win a while ago. A few of them even lost the will to fight. But when it comes to losing the will to live, to breathe, the point is, if this lot were seals or whales, you'd all be up in bloody arms. But they're not, are they? No, no they're not. They're just ordinary, common, garden, honest, decent human beings. And not one of them with an ounce of bloody hope left. Oh, I... They can knock out a bloody good tune. But what the fuck does that matter? I don't want to bring that much feel to him, but um, I love that. And he's one of my all-time great actors, a fantastic actor, who's sadly no longer with us. Right, OK, let's move on to number six. And let's bring a wee bit of my light-hearted day. Here's number six. I ask you, huh? He's dead. You have to be facing him. Oh, Jesus. All right, no more bullshit. Was there or wasn't there a woman? Are you serious? Yes, I'm goddamn serious. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a woman? What the hell is he talking about? He reads lips. You're talking too fast. All right, right so that is number... Um, six there. Okay. As I say, you can wind some of these back and listen to them again. Number seven. Here we go. Name the movie. Junior, you're coming for fuck's sake. Frank. What was it now? The boy. What about him? See, Frank, please don't be angry. It's just he's not really... Not really what? Sorry, Dad. <laughs> the fuck is that? You can't go to be dressed like that. See, I, I don't really think, you know, I'm into it. He doesn't want to go, Frank. He doesn't want to go? Where else are you going to go? I was, was actually going to go meet some friends from the college. Oh, from the college, isn't it? Right. Well, that's a law, no mistake, no two ways about that. Sorry, Dad. Some way to treat your old man. Please, Frank. You shut the fuck up! Hotel fucking management! You put a... Just had to get that bit in there. Um, name the movie. Okay. Apologies for some of the language. If you have any kids around. What you've seen. When we sit down, family will do this lovely quiz. The Gary. It's a lovely family quiz. Sorry, sorry. Right, question number eight. Here is. This is a man with a thorn, wasn't he? That great, but see. Well, the way I figure it, we can either fight or give. If we give, we go to jail. I've been there already. But if we fight, we stay right where they are and starve us out. Or go for position, shoot us. Might even get a rock slide started and get us that way. What else can I do? They could surrender to us, but I wouldn't count on that. 
They're going for position, all right. Better get ready. Kid, the next time I say let's go someplace like Bolivia, let's go someplace like Bolivia. Next time. Right. Okay. Name one more over there. That was number eight there. Okay. And here is number nine for you. That's kind of strange. So put that back to the slaughtered lamb. That's kind of strange. Where's the lamb? It's probably inside getting cold. Come on. No, really. What kind of ad is that for a pub? I don't know. Would you rather the Hilton? All right. But whatever happens, it's, it's your fault. fault. Right. All right. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. It's uh, very cold outside. May we come in? That analogy is used a lot of the times when if you walk into a pub somewhere strange um, and the place just goes silent and everybody looks at you and you're like, Oh, this is like that scene out of that movie. Or you name that pub, The Slaughtered Lamb. Okay, again, just name the movie. So that was question nine, and here's your final one, folks. Here is your final one. Not me. I didn't shoot my wife, and I didn't shoot her lover. Whatever mistakes I made, I paid for them, and then some. That hotel, that boat, I don't think that's too much to ask. I don't think you ought to be doing this to yourself, Andy. This is just shitty pipe dreams. I mean, Mexico is way to hell down there, and you're in here, and that's the way it is. Yeah, right. That's the way it is. It's down there, and I'm in here. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living, or get busy dying. Yeah. It is not get busy living, or you get busy dying. Right, so that was number 10, folks. Number 10. Wait after that shit. Right. Okay. Okay, you can, as I say, rewind any of back and listen to them again. I hope that's came across okay. I'm not checking anyone. So, right, um, we'll have a wee break as per usual and a wee bit of music now. Let's see what we've got. Oh, let's go with this one. Roisin was doing um, something on Six Music the other day. Uh, and she was asking folk to send in requests for songs to sing and all that. I think some of her new stuff is pretty good, actually. I think it's no bad, by the way. Including this song. I feel my story is still untold But I'll make my own happy ending I guess I'd rather be alone Than make him do a mending I think maybe I've outgrown this whole town I see you almost every day And every time I turn around our love is stuck on replay.
my arm, but I've Roisin Murphy. If anybody who is Roisin Murphy, I mean, she was the lead singer with my local. Remember my local? Band quite famous, late nineties, early two thousands. That dated. Yeah, how about the mirror dress and sing it back? Right, we move on to the final round, and it's a music round, and it's an intros round, folks. So back with you listening in. Um, for this one. So uh, with the music round, as per usual, we are looking for first, uh, first and second name. We're looking for artist and the name of the song. You'll get a point for each. So 20 points in total up for grabs here. Um, so as I say, you maybe don't know the song, but you've got a fair guess who the artist is. Put it in. You never know that point could make a difference. Um, but yeah, so as with the last round, uh, questions disappear, but I'll bring them back up. So you'll hear the intro to 10 songs, simply name the artist and the name of the song. Okay, so here is your first one, folks. There we go. Okay, remember folks, you can rewind them back and listen to them. I'm only going to play them once for you. Right, so that was number one. Here is number two for you. Number two. Number two there, folks. Number two. Here is number three. So that was number three. Number three there. Who was that? And here is your next one. That's number four. Number four. I forget. Oh, these are intros, Gary. You need to stop them at some stage. Sorry. Right, number five. Here we go. It's coming. I choose my friends oh, far too well. I'm up on the pavement, and they're all down in the cell with their government grants. They brought me down to size I 
Just to that one, don't we? That was number five. Right, here's number six. Number six. <laughs> So that was number six. Number seven now, folks. Number seven. Singer of this band actually, that uh, band coming at Central Station one day. I was like, he's not a typical look with this guy, but it's just you know, when that, that person's famous. And I went, Ah, that's such and so. He looked at me as if, Do I know you? And then he realised, No, I don't know you. Right, so that was number seven. Here is number eight. Number eight. Everything is wonderful Being here is heavenly Every single day she sends Everything is free I used to be so careless As if I couldn't care less Did I have to make this mess When I... Yes. Not to be quick there off the mark because you just might have a problem there. Right, number nine. Okay, Artisan song, Artisan song. that one so that was number nine and here is your final one probably maybe for some the most trickiest of the night some of you would be probably like Jesus Christ get out of that one yeah, I don't know. anyway I think this is probably the most tricky of the night let's see what you think for next Sunday I'll do a wee sign no I won't right so that was your final one there folks number 10 as I say you can wind any of them back again and listen to your heart's content catch please um, and then submit your answers this is the time you need to get all your answers to me now folks remember 
brand uh, if you want to be on the new leaderboard. It's all just fun. Oh, pardon me. It's all just for fun. Especially if any of you out there are thinking that you've got this going to be a massive big prize at the end of it. How much money do you think I get? Might get a new kettle. Might give you that kettle that I had sitting in the stove. That's what you might want. Yeah, you get a prize. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so uh, I'll be back in a moment. We've got the bonus card, bonus points card game coming up in a minute. I think I might just go for a shower, folks. Right. Oh, I'll be back after. Don't worry. I'll be back. I'll leave you with. Uh, oh, look. Well, this is another track by Jungle. This is Busy Early. I have been. I've been Busy Early. <laughs> See, I was. I knew I would be late after that show. No. <laughs> it was just. I was. Oh, fucking hell, Jesus. Um, I was earlier really looking at a tweet for Donald Trump and I was replying to him. As if he's going to read it. He just went, China. Now he goes that way, the way he says it. China. That's all the tweet is. China. So I said, Azerbaijan. And then, because it's like that card game on it. Name a country and then you've got to get a country that. So that's what I get. I thought he was playing that game. Because he just has 
China. And I went, oh shit, that song's going to finish. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I can't get into the song for ages and for ages. Oh yeah, just get to stub my toe. But I'm a brave man. I'm like that guy, remember for catchphrase? The guy that fell down the stairs in his first day of catchphrase. And um, he ended up, he broke his leg, but he, he went on. Or broke his ankle or something, but he went on and done. Good plan, well done you. Right, um, bonus card game. Now, who is where? Last week, John McMenemy won two points for getting um, two, two cards. So, this week, um, in terms of who's what, who's what where, um, Ryan and Jade, you're the ace of spades. Um, Doogie and Jim, you're two. John McNenemy, you're three. Um, Sid and Wendy, four. Um, Mark, Gregor, uh, Gary and Andy are five. Uh, Stephen and Marie are... S- oh, no. I've not got a six card. No. I thought I can give all these up. Six, sorry, is Stephen and Marie. Seven is uh, Gillian, Susan, Dom, Peter and John. Eight is Jim, Andy, Mags and Tracy. Nine is Anne and Bob. Ten is Fiverr Skull. Jack is George and Mo. Queen this week, who's the queen? It is Graham and Louise. Graham and Louise. Who's the king? It's Janine. Janine, who have started playing for the past couple of weeks. Nice to have you with us, Janine. Um, Sandy, you're not the queen this week, but you're the ace of demons. Ace of clubs is Mary and Jerry. What's that, the ace of clubs, sorry? And ace of hearts is Joan. Oh, she always gets, Joan that's either gets the queen or, or the ace of hearts. That's a really nice one. It is a very nice one. Good look at Right, I'll put them up here, so, you know what, I'm going to point the name, and it's sort of cheap. Right, okay, let's see who is going to be um, playing for the two points tonight, and it is a seven, and that is, oh, it's Gillian, Susan, Dom, Peter, and John. So you are going to play, I think you are played for the two points before. I knew I needed all that bloody mix up the cards and all that. Some folk think, why are you going about this guy? I will do some player cards right on, um, on for the quiz I've done. Aye, so I'll get folk to phone in or I'll phone you and you can play player cards right live. Yeah. How about that, mate? don't know if I'll have any prizes. I might, I'll, I'll have wee spot prizes. Maybe a little bigger, maybe, maybe a multi pack of crisps or. Um, um, a curly woolly or something, you know what I mean? That sort of idea. Nothing, nothing too dramatic. What about the fun? I'll we'll get a drunk half or something. Or whatever. Right, I don't know how many more boxes these but I can't be honest. Anyway, for two points, Jillian and uh, Jillian, Susan and Cole. Now with us, you remember you need to get um, either two or two cards of the same suit for two points, or two ca- if they're two of the cards on the same face or cards two num- same numbers, you get three points. Okay, so I always like to get the music, we'll get the music ready just in case we need it. We do always need it. Right, your first card is a jack, a jack of spades. Can I change it? If it's another jack, you get how much? Uh, three points. If it's a speed, you get two points. And it is a speed. It's a jack. It's a, no, not another jack. It's a ten of speeds. So that's two points for you there, folks. Two points. The next one was a two. Oh, two. And then it was an ace. Okay, well done to you. That's two points there for you. Um, coming along there very well.
If you can sit down now, you can sit down. Aye, aye. Come on, you. You've, you've, you've had too much to drink now. Aye, you've had too much to drink now. You need to sit down. Right, okay. Answers will be along soon, folks. Um, let's have a wee bit of music to round ourselves off here. Hey, summer girl. Where I put it here. folks. Right, round number one was the connections. Um, here we go. Question one, which American artist part of the abstract expressionism movement was married to fellow artist Lee Krasner, but sadly died at the age of 44. That was Jackson Pollock. Uh, question two, which character did Paul Usher play in the soap Brookside? That was Barry Grant. Question three, from 1999 to 2002, which rally team did Paul Former world champion Colin McRae drive for that was Ford, Ford Rally. Question four, the royalties for the move song Flowers in the Rain go to charities for which former Prime Minister? That is Harold Wilson. Um, Harold Wilson, yes. There you go. Question five, which actor played the role of Dr Richard Kimball in the 1993 movie version of The Fugitive? That was Harrison Ford. In 1970, question six here, 1960, which former, which boxer um, became world lightweight champion when he de defeated Panamanian Ishmael Laguna in Puerto Rico? That was Ken Buchanan, Edinburgh's finest. Question seven, which 1971 movie starring Michael Caine is based on the novel Jack's Return Home? That's Get Carter. Um, question eight, which band had the number one hit in the UK singles charts in 2000 with Don't Call Me Baby? That was Madison Avenue. Uh, question nine, which 1996 movie starring Jim Carrey is set in the fictional seaside town of Sea Haven Island? And I said fictional, emphasised on that because it was obviously under a big dome, remember? The Truman Show. What was the connection? US presidents. There we have Jackson, Andrew Jackson, Grant, Ulysses Grant, um, Ford, uh, Gerald Ford, um, Harold Wilson, Wilson, Woodrow Wilson, um, Harrison, well, you could have had that for Gerald Ford or, but we were looking at William and Benjamin Harrison, um, Buchanan, James Buchanan, uh, Carter, Jimmy Carter, Madison, James Madison, and of course Truman, Harry S. Truman. Um, yeah. I don't know what that yell is there, didn't they? But anyway, there. Right, um, the next round was the picture round, folks. Um, your first one there, that is a Pine Martin. Very, 
um, popular in Scotland. If you're up in the Highlands, you'll see a wee pine martin. Or no guarantee that. Don't say, if you go up to the Highlands and you don't see one, blame me, but anyway. Number two is a capybara. I think it's the last uh, largest rodent in the world, isn't it? Capybara. I think I see it right. Capybara. Number three, that is a shrew. A shrew. Try taming a shrew. Uh, I've not had much success myself. Number four, walking home for the pub there, that's a porcupine. Uh, old porcupine. Five, that's a hyena. A hyena. Yeah. Question six, um, that is tuna, a tuna fish. Amazing that, all that fits into a wee tin, doesn't it? That mean a wee John West tin, that's about that size and that all fits in there. Yeah, uh, number seven there. That's a wee funky gibbon. There's a gibbon there. Next one is why? Oh, that's a sloth. Sloth. Go for the goodies. Number nine. That's a kiwi. A wee New Zealand puddle. And your final one is an albatross. It's not a seagull. No. Right, so there's clarification there of your answers. So if you want to have a good look at them. Right, your next round was round three general knowledge. Um, question one which ship magnet bought Olympic Airways from the Greek government in 1959 and then sold it off? That was Aristotle Anassis. Onassis. Question two, which satirical war novel published in 1961 and written by Joseph Heller was adapted into a 1970 movie starring Alan Arkin? That was Catch-22. Question three, until 2018, what was the African nation of Eswatini, previously known as that was Swaziland? Question four, which ship built in Dumbart now sits in the dry dock in Greenwich? That's the Cutty Sark. And what I was going to say was, when I was reading that question was, is it sister ship? No, that one eight sister ships. No, that one that used to sit in Irvine. I think it's now been taken out of Adelaide. But I think was it all called the city of Adelaide? Did that all sit in Irvine? I might be right. Ignore me. Question five: Which former prominent U.S. lawyer um, and an early advocate for the victims of police brutality, but he represented the likes of Sean Coons, Michael Jackson, Snoop Dogg, and O.J. Simpson? That was Johnny Cochran. Johnny Cochran. Yeah, Johnny. You know Johnny. Question six, in 1955, which British company first introduced the fully automatic kettle? That was Russell Hobbs. Question seven, the Czech Republic is also known by which short form name? That's Czechia. Czechia, mate. Yeah. Question eight, the minor and major cal calyx can be found in which organ in the human body? That's the kidney. Kidneys. If you've got two, well, most people have got two, but some people have only got one. Question uh, number uh, nine, the restaurant chain Nando's it was founded in which country? South Africa. I must admit, I was, I was quite surprised by that. I thought it was Portugal, but it's no. They just they do, because they do a lot of pari pari. It's, that's Portuguese, but anyway. Question number um, 10. Um, speaking about Portugal, conquistadors are explorers' knights from which two countries? Spain and Portugal. Right. Um, I'm not going to play all the sound bites again. It's just too much answer. First one you heard was uh, blowing the bloody doors off, was of course the Italian job. Two, um, you heard Robert Shaw speaking about um, the incident, what was it, the SS Indianapolis. It was, it was a take on that story. Um, Jaws, of course. Three, I want the truth, you get it, and the truth was a few good men. Four, the letter from Valerie, um, you heard, uh, it's Natalie Portman that reads it. Well, she is it, the one that's reading the letter. But it's not her voice, it's the voice of the person that wrote the letter, Valerie. I think I made that right. It's from V for Vendetta, anyway, V for Vendetta. Five, you heard the magnificent Pete Postlethwaite, an absolutely brilliant actor. Um, and he is, this is a very underrated British movie, you should watch it, Brassed Off. Um, it's written about 95 or something, 95. And Ewan McGregor's in it, um, Stephen Tompkinson's in it. Um, there's a lot of uh, Sue Johnson, the Brookie, the Royal Families in it. It's brilliant. It's got a lot of dark comedy, but and it's about a a, a band, um, and they go into the big uh, 
you two are looking, but it's very political, as you can imagine, because it's about the minors and what have you. But it's great. That's number five. Number six, see no evil here in the evil. Brilliant movie. Very funny. Seven is Train Spotting 2. Train Spotting 2, remember. That is. Um, with, of course, hotel fucking management. Question eight is the classic Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Um, nine, the slaughtered lamb, remember, um, and, and the American werewolf in London. Um, the poor guys get kicked out the pub and they end up being attacked by the werewolf. And ten, of course, the last one was the Shawshank Redemption. Right, um, we'll play you, I'll go through the songs for you in the intros. That's the Honey Thief and Hip Sway. Jimmy Cliff, The Harder They Come. This is Cozy Powell with Dance with the Devil. Is this here, Cozy Powell, Dance with the Devil? there was the spinners and the rubber mat band man. Five Lloyd Cole in the commotion. Otis Redding with Hard to Handle, Hard to Handle. That is Swede, the beautiful ones, Brett Anderson, the lead singer member. Who I mean, Everything is wonderful, being here is heavenly, every single day she sends. Everything is free. I used to be so careless. As if I couldn't care less. That's of course Mary's Prayer by Danny Wilson, the band Danny Wilson. Which, ironically enough, the former Rangers Hearts and Liverpool defender was named after. Hey, what? That's of course you two with the with two hearts beat as one two hearts beat as one in your last one. Yeah. Tried to get it to the chorus there, but I couldn't. But anyway, that was Manson. Manson, who were. I wouldn't really say massive in the 90s. Um, they weren't the massive at all in the 90s, but that is, I can only disappoint you, which um, there's clarification there of your answers. Um, they were one of the bands. that They're, they're probably the better known from Wide Open Space, or, sorry, or Tax Loss was another song like that, which the video was quite famous for because they chucked a whole load of fivers across, was it King's Cross Station? And everybody's going to but they put stickers on it that said tax laws. And I think it was something today we, we were in an argument with the HMRC. Okay. Right, so that's your answers there, folks. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's me. Huh? Right. Um, in fact, I'll just throw that. I'll, I'll just reduce the size of that. So that... Right. Uh, Okay, as you know, I've been harping on about this for a wee while, and you might have seen this on my Facebook page, but yes, on the next Sunday, um, from 10 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night, I will be doing a quiz a -thon. Um and it's all in aid of raising funds for the Chris Boyd charity, um, which slogan is getting your head back in the game, which might be quite appropriate for a lot of people who, as we start to come out of um, lockdown and reason of that, and 
folks are maybe start to go back to work and start to get a bit of normality back in their life. And that can be quite difficult um, for some folk. And, and it's getting your head back into that sort of frame of mind of, you know, it might be for some folk a difficult time. And I know that a lot of, um, you know, like the Samaritans and a lot of mental health charities have found a massive increase in calls to them um, during the past couple of months. And that's understandable. Um, so with the Chris Boy charity, um, I don't know if any of you know the backstory with Chris um, and his brother, but it's worth reading about it um, in that respect. But I wanted, to, and the, the main reason was looking at it was because I've always wanted to support a mental health charity. I've been there myself, so I wanted to do something along those lines. Um, and it's a local charity as well. Um, but they do a lot of great work across the schools and colleges in Scotland. Um, I don't know if any of you know Andy McLaren, a former uh, football player, played for the likes of Dundee United and so on. Um, and he's got a book out and he speaks a lot about the, a lot of the mental health issues that he suffered. Um, and he goes to the schools and the uh, colleges and speaks to a lot of uh, young people. Um, because, But it's not just young people, obviously, that go through this. It's a lot of others. But let's remember that, that the, you know, for young people, Gap men and uh, it's the biggest killer in Scotland. Um, so it's you know it, it's quite a you know that I think we all know people or we we ourselves have been through it. So yeah, they do a lot of great initiatives. A lot of the money also goes towards the things like um, uh, Samaritans. They do fantastic work across the board, um, and you can check their website for that. As I say, I put a link up on one of my. Facebook posts earlier this week. Um, I'll release a donations page um, later on this week, so people, if you want to donate, you can do so. With regards to the day itself with the quizathon, um, the way it's going to work is there'll be quizzes in there, of course. I'll do like what we've been doing here, um, but there will also be um, challenges that I want to set for folk. Um, so I've got an idea that I want to play three games. Who wants to be a millionaire? Mastermind and Popmaster. And I want me to be speaking live to you, yous out there. So if you want to take part, if you want to take part in who wants to be a millionaire or Popmaster, if you think that's something along, if you think I can do that, then by all means get in touch with me. Let me know and I can give you a call and we can go live on the, the quizathon for it. Or if you want to do a mastermind, if there's a spare, if there's a subject that I think, and in two minutes, Gary, I could do loads of answers on that, then by all means get in touch with me with regards to that, and I'll look at some questions with that. Um, and yeah, and we could see who does the best. When it comes to who wants to be a millionaire, of course, there won't be any, there won't be a million pound or that, but. As I say, you may get a packet of pickled onion crisps. Um, but, yeah, it's just a bit of fun that will be taking place. We'll also do wee games in there um, as well. There'll be some music. Um, just going to stretch out the day, but it'll be good for you to get involved. There'll be a, a facility for you to get in touch with me during live chat. Tell me what you're thinking about it. I'm not expecting everybody to be joining me all the time. Um, can come in and out yeah. Now, the actual chat, and I'm, I know I'm blathering on here, folks, but I'm, I'm just wanting to tell you that the actual, um, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to be, do it via my YouTube channel itself. It will be via a facility called Twitch, but I can put up, I'll put a link up on my Facebook page, I'll go on my Twitter page, um, and you can, sh I'll, I'll be wanting people to share that uh, uh, Twitter page, Twitch page as much as possible with as many folks so that they can come in and get involved. I'll also put up the donations just given page as well. Okay, so plenty of fun to be. If you have any questions about it um, or you want to find out any more about the charity, uh, then by all means get in touch with myself um, and I can speak to you about it. And if there's anything about the quiz itself that you want to submit questions to me, I want to do Challenge the Quizmaster as well. If you've got a golden nugget question that you want to throw to me, I want you to get in touch with me and, and challenge me. Uh, put me on the spot and see, see how I can do because I put you on the spot all the time. So, yeah, lots of fun. Let's hope the weather's good and I can sit and be doing this quiz in the back garden 
um, or the time um, that'll be grand but for the moment folks thanks for your company um, I will be back on Wednesday night with an 80s and 90s pub quiz so there's going to be lots of different stuff thrown in there I know maybe some folk you know oh, I like the, the, 80s and, the 80s and 90s too modern for me Gary but oh come on um, I'll be putting a bit of music in there some TV movies but uh, what happened during that time and also some sport and whatever in there um, so I hope you can join me if not as I say um, it says there see you next Sunday for another pub quiz but that's just um, the generic template for that um, <laughs> Uh, next Sunday, of course, as I explained, will be the quiz at all. Right. Okay, folks. Oh, I am shattered. Shattered. I will not check the microphone. I will not check. Now I like to say, now I like to say goodbye to all my fellow friends. And if you like this shit on here, I'll see your ass again. Okay, folks, as I say, I'll see you soon, folks. And a, a pleasure to have you. It's been a pleasure to have you. Um, and Gary, just to end up. Just to end up, bye. Keep safe, folks. Stay safe. Good night. Bye.